I've had some questions about how to do the domino upstairs in Cinema 4D. Uh, a user has asked me this on my uh, dominoes tutorial. So basically what I did was just made a plane, put a, a rigid body tag on it, and then I just made the stairs out of a couple of cubes that I uh, scaled around. and then I just put them in a group. And dominoes are just uh, uh, cube objects put in fracture objects with uh, Mo Dynamics or Mo Graph tags on them and then I did what I did in the tutorial and just made a ball that sort of was keyframed animation across and if you see that gives you somewhat of the effect. I did this real quick so the dominoes don't fall proper, I mean they work, it just doesn't look very good obviously because the scale of dominoes and the scale of the stairs, nothing is set up very well. But there's another way to do it, so let's just go ahead and delete the fracture object, all of them just take our domino out of it, rename it domino, delete that fracture object, and then come up and add a cloner object and then put the domino in the cloner object and let's just rename the cloner object dominoes alright now down in here I know the height of each of my steps goes up by 25 so I'm going to adjust that to 25 let's see how wide they are and you can see the blue coordinate line goes across so it's the Z so let's change the Z to 55 which is the right spacing after you know what I'm gonna go ahead and let's go to the side view and let's add one more domino and then just align these and then let's go ahead and add a rigid body tag And now the ball, because it doesn't go across the screen all the way, let's uh, adjust that. And I'm going to drag the keyframe out a little bit further so it doesn't like go shooting across and send the domino flying. Oh, hold on, let me re-click on it. So let's just drag that out so it barely touches that first one. And set another keyframe and then hit play. And you can see that's another way you can add dominoes to a staircase. Might be a little bit easier than having to do individual fracture objects. But I hope this helped. This uh, was Patrick Riley for HazyStudio.com. Sorry for the lack of videos recently, but I am going to try and get back on it.